Hi guys, this is Tommy from Chai Shop, and I'm here today with the latest update to Garmin's bike power meter, the Garmin Vector 3 pedals. A power meter measures a cyclist's power output and has become an essential training tool for professionals and amateurs alike. As a triathlon coach, I use power data every day to help improve my athlete's training and racing performance. The Vector was Garmin's first bike power meter, and it brought competitive pressure to the bike power meter market, helping make power meters more affordable and easier to use. Unfortunately, the first generation Vector also had periods where reliable firmware was a concern and the portability promise of the Garmin Vector wasn't quite realized. The release of the Vector 2 helped address these issues as customers got the type of stability and ease of use that one might expect from a second generation product. But the new Vector 3 takes the product one step further, eliminating the external pods that house the battery and communication pieces and making installation as easy as installing any pair of pedals. Like all power meter pedals, you'll want to make sure that you use the spacer to prevent the pedal body from rubbing against the crank arm. Also, you no longer need a torque wrench during installation. Just turn your pedal wrench until things feel snug, like you would regular pedals. In addition to a simpler installation process, the new pedals have a sleeker look and weigh 17 grams less per pedal. The Vector 3 also has improved bearings of the previous Vector and an improved spindle body. Technologically, the Vector 3 adds Bluetooth Smart, which enables firmware updates through the Garmin Connect mobile app. Previously, you had to use a desktop computer or a Garmin Edge computer. The certified rider weight limitation on the Vector 3 is now up 15% to 231 pounds indicating that the Vector 3 should be even more reliable than the prior models. One area where there has been a small step back is battery life. Garmin tells us to expect 120 hours of use if you have Cycling Dynamics and Bluetooth Smart enabled. If you disable those options, you'll get close to 150 to 175 hours of battery life like you would expect on the previous Vector models. The Garmin Vector comes in two offerings. The classic dual-sided option it not only measures power, but also reports left-right power balance and Garmin cycling dynamics metrics. And the lower cost Garmin Vector 3S, which provides only a single side power reading and loses cycling dynamics metrics. The Vector 3 features Ant Plus compatibility, LEDs to display device status, a one-year standard warranty, and Look Keo Cleat compatibility. The Vector 3 has shifted to the LR44 coin cell batteries from the CR2032 batteries. The batteries are now internal to the pedal body. To access the battery, you just need to remove a small cover on the edge of the pedal using an Allen key. If you purchase the Vector 3S but want to add the capabilities of the dual sensor pedals at some point in the future, the 3S can be easily upgraded to the Vector 3 dual sensing system. The biggest advantage of the Vector is that, like other pedal-based power meter options, it is easily transferred between bikes. If you ride multiple bikes and don't have the budget or desire to invest in multiple power meters, then the Vector 3 is a great option. That said, if you are committed to a pedal platform other than Look Keo or Shimano SPDSL, the Vectors might not be right for you. The Vector 3 improves the Vector 2 in almost every way. And we expect the Vector 3 to be a big hit for riders looking for a reliable power meter that can be moved from bike to bike. The Vector 3 and the entire Garmin cycling and triathlon product lineup is available at TriShop.